It seems every month these days is dedicated to some so-called marginalized community. As May comes to an end, we are suddenly seeing the last chance and goodbyes to Asian American and Pacific Island Heritage Month. Now, as someone who is technically within that group, the term has always bothered me. What do I have in common with someone who is South Korean? And what do they have in common with somebody of Cambodian descent? It collapses on a rudimentary analysis. Per Richard's telling, the term did not exist in the United States until the government created it out of sheer laziness and nepotism. AAPI to me best signifies the diversity the Olympics that people who aren't white in America are subjected to despite none of us ever asking for it. The biggest con of all is to try to get us to go along with their nonsense while they simultaneously have architected an entire affirmative action regime designed to preference their admission to the cultural and financial elite at our expense. When they are forced to compete on merit, they fail miserably. Asians are minorities when they are convenient and oppressors when they are not.